Hi, I'm Michelle Mandel from Sun Media and Post Media, and this is my colleague Sam Pisano. And together we're going to be covering one of the most sensational trials that Canada has seen in a long time, that of former CBC host Jean Gomeshi. He's pleaded not guilty and stands charged with four counts of sexual assault and choking. We're just going to take you back on how this all began. Michelle, it all began in October 2014 when the icon Gomeshi took a mysterious undetermined leave as host of CBC's flagship show Q. He tweeted that he needed some personal time due to the recent death of his father. Freelance journalist Jesse Brown hinted there was much more of the story to come. So there was. I remember that Facebook posting that Sunday night by Jean Gomeshi. It was shocking to his followers and his fans. And in a 1500 word essay that was impassioned plea of innocence, he said that he was being framed by an ex-girlfriend and he had been fired from the CPC because of his private lifestyle, a lifestyle he said that was a moderate form of a Fifty Shades of Grey BDSM. Michelle, things got really strange then. His lawyers launched a ludicrous $55 million lawsuit against the CBC. He alleged he was fired because of his strange lifestyle. Many lawyers branded a PR exercise and said it was an impossible case to win. At first, many of his fans were sympathetic. Was Gomeshi really being fired from the CBC because of something he did in his private life? But that quickly changed as numerous women came forward in the media and told harrowing accounts of what they said allegedly happened while they were out with Gomeshi, including being punched in the face and choked while on their date. Gomeshi wrote a short Facebook post saying he would have to thank the people for their support and he intended to fight these allegations. He wasn't going to discuss this matter any further with the media. We would learn later that he hadn't been framed. In fact, he had given a video himself to the CBC in which he showed that he had been um, involved with a woman who had injuries. And this was a video that he had shown to his bosses, and that's why he was fired shortly afterwards. In November 2014, he was arrested and charged with sexual assault. Who can forget that mob scene at College Park when he made his first court appearance with renowned defense attorney Marie Hennen? We'll be pleading not guilty. We will address these allegations fully and directly in a courtroom. It is not my practice to litigate my cases in the media. I was there at that mob scene, engulfed by people, and a scene I'll never forget as hundreds of people were squeezed into a tiny corridor at College Park Courthouse. The case accelerated through the courts as Gomeshi chose a judge alone trial and several charges were dropped. His first trial begins on Monday at Old City Hall Courts. The second one in June will be highly sensitive for the CBC. A former CBC employee will allege Gomeshi groped her and made a sexual overture towards her. So we can expect compelling testimony from the complainants and perhaps even testimony from Gomeshi himself once the trial starts on Monday and also vigorous cross-examination that we'll see from one of the best defense attorneys in the country. Follow our coverage in Sun Media and Post Media.